Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Unit Lost. My name is Kirioth and this is a delightful little Friday vlog. Just basically letting you know what's going on behind the scenes, what's happening with Unit Lost. Uh, for those of you wondering where the hell Hotfix has gone, I shall explain it all. It shall all be revealed like some sort of amazing magic trick. Um, that, well, yeah. So, <laughs> what's basically been happening over the last couple of months, as you are probably already aware, is that the Unit Lost World Headquarters has been under construction. That's a very grand name for what is really the Shack of Streams and Dreams, which is an office for Sty. Now, previously we had issues with recording and streaming and stuff because uh, making noise was apparently unacceptable to Sty's neighbour. Did not appreciate it, didn't like it, was not a fan of, of, of noise, of pretty much any kind, um, which limited when we could record things, when we could stream things, and basically kind of put not a, not a halt on what we wanted to do but it it made it awkward it made it a lot more difficult than it needed to be and so the solution to this was to build an office and it's worked a treat the office is now complete it looks amazing it's incredible inside i'm frankly really jelly because it's a damn sight nicer than my office and this means that streaming especially can start again in earnest as you probably noticed because sty is already streaming like a mantle and it's brilliant. It's honestly really good because it means we can now, you know, get back to making content. We can make stuff when we want to make it. We don't have to worry about making too much noise. We don't have to worry about what time it is when we want to record. We can just work whenever we want to work. Um, it's really, really good. So that means that streams have begun again, which is excellent. And it also means that there's going to be a slight change in the way we do things. Now, it's the construction of the office and what I'm about to tell you about that's kind of put a halt on a hotfix for the moment. Um, it's basically been a case of if someone wants to come and finish part of the office, then we have to let them come and finish part of the office. Like, it had to be built quickly. It had to be done swiftly so that it didn't disrupt the channel too much, which meant that if someone turned up on a Thursday, which is when we typically record hotfix, and said, hey, I've come to do the electrics in the office we would then say, okay, do it. And of course, as soon as one stage is completed on the office, um, you want to move on to the next stage, you know, so you can build it as quickly as possible. And that's basically what's caused a lot of the disruption. But that disruption is now gone, because the office is complete, streaming has started, hunky-dory, brilliant. There was, however, other issues that kind of put, not a halt on content, but slowed things down a little bit. And that was, uh, I have been stress testing this machine. Now that the office is complete and Star can stream more, um, what we want to do is shift over, essentially, responsibility of the YouTube channel to me. So things like the Let's Play series that we do, um, preview and review content, all that kind of thing, um, is essentially going to be down to me. The production of it is going to be down to me. However, that was an issue and we couldn't really do it properly. Largely because if you go back and watch videos that Sty's made, and compare them to videos I've made uh, recently, you'll notice that all his are 60 FPS, and mine are 30 FPS. Which is bullshit! We are not peasants. We are, we are respectable men of gaming, and given that we cover largely PC releases, not being able to record at 60 FPS was a problem. And it was one that we were attempting to fix, testing various software solutions, trying different codecs, trying to record different ways. Essentially, I've just been hammering this PC, trying to work out how the hell to get it to record at a steady 60 FPS all the time, no matter what the game was. And essentially, after a, a good week, in fact, more than a week of, of just going at it and trying to work out what's going on, we came to the conclusion that, unfortunately, whilst this game is perfectly happy running Diablo at around 120 FPS, it refused to record it at 60 there's a whole thing as to why that's the case, which I'm not going to go into because it's boring and I'm sick of it. But the good news is that that is no longer an issue because, as you will note, the game is currently being recorded at a silky smooth 60 FPS. And that is because in, rather than going out and buying a new computer or upgrading or you know messing about with any of that, we went out and got a... a uh, bleh, I can't speak today. We went out and got an Elgato HD 60. Now, not only does this allow me to record on the PC at 60fps, but it also means that I can record from console as well, which is brilliant. So, I am now set up to record whenever I like at a decent frame rate. Um, it also massively cuts down on the amount of setup time required. Uh, like, you'll notice, for instance, that there wasn't a Steam Gift Gamble this week. That was because the games that I attempted to play on the Steam Gift Gamble were such a pain to try and get recording with software solutions. Like... 
a couple of them that I tried, which I will go back and revisit. Like, I still haven't actually played them because I couldn't even get to that stage. Um, I just couldn't record them. You know, it, it was the setup time was insane. And also, there was things like balancing audio and so on. Like, all of that had to be done before I started the video proper. Uh, and that's not the case anymore. Now it's just a case of I click record and this magical box next to me takes a video, makes it 60 FPS, 1080p, sticks the sound onto it, and I record my audio with Audacity, sync it at the start by doing a little 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 thing with the mouse, and that's it. I then just take the two clips once I finish recording, ram them into editing software, and I can sort out the audio in post as well. It's absolutely fantastic. So that means that now I can take over basically the everyday running of the channel, so the Let's Play stuff will most likely be recorded by me, and edited and uploaded and so on. Star can focus on streaming, so you'll have more streaming, which is awesome. So yeah, YouTube content will go up, streaming content will go up, there'll obviously be the occasional crossover, like if something amazing happens on stream, it will appear on the channel, and so on and so forth. All in all, all in all, it's all come pure, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's kind of been why there hasn't that has been why there kind of hasn't been uh, hot fixes recently. It's a combination of construction, stress testing, trying to work out what's going on, working out kind of new organisational structure, as it were, and how we're going to approach the YouTube channel and the stream at the same time. But that's all sorted. That is all fixed. And frankly, I'm I'm bloody excited. It's going to be awesome. However, there is something that we need to discuss in terms of YouTube content and what we're going to do about one show in particular. Now. There's been no Face Off Friday today, and that's because we are basically looking at Face Off Friday and trying to work out what to do with it. When we make content for the channel that involves both of us, it kind of needs to hit a certain criteria. Like, it needs to reach a certain number of people, get a certain number of views to... I I guess... <laughs> My dog just made a noise in her sleep, sorry. Um, so I guess, be worth it? No, no worth it's the wrong... Worth it's the wrong the wrong phrase. We like doing Face Off Friday, but as it stands, it's a significant time investment for not very many people watching it, which is a shame. Um, but for most of the games that we play, we need both points of view, which means we both have to record, then we both have to, or at least one of us has to uh, encode the clip again so that we can then send it, get out of my way, so that we can send it to the other person who then edits it and then uploads it. Now, for the Steam Gift Gamble, for instance, that gets about the same views as a Face Off Friday. And you're probably going to say, well, well, Kiri, if, if it's okay for one video, why is it not okay for the other? There is zero setup time, or at least there will be now, for the Steam Gift Gamble. It will literally be a case of, I open the game, or in fact, I don't even open the game, I press record on two bits of software, I say one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I record the video, and that is all of the setup. And the editing is simply getting both of those, getting the audio clip and the video clip, sticking it in a piece of software, and that's that's pretty much it. I don't have to do much more than that. Um, so it's not really the same. You know, it's like the time investment by one person where there's no setup is very, very small. But the time investment from two people where we first have to both get the game you know, download the game, get it all sorted, get it working, make sure it's going to work, make sure it's not going to screw up, test record, test sound settings so that we are both recording at roughly the same level. It's it's a whole thing, guys. To record Face Off Friday is a whole thing. And it's not currently worth the time investment, frankly. Because in the time it takes us to record a Face Off Friday, which might only be a 20-minute video, but in terms of setup and then editing and encoding, that process alone is can be anywhere from like two to four hours okay that's that's not sufficient for a 20 minute clip that then gets you know nowhere near enough views it's just not worth it so we're kind of looking at ways to do kind of i guess a face off friday type show um maybe we're, we're trying to work out what we want to do we want to do a specific show for you guys for current subscribers on a friday you know we want it to be a thing we want it to be a feature of the channel but we also it needs to be worth doing and at the moment, Face Off Friday, to be perfectly honest with you, whilst it's enjoyable, and I know you guys like it, not enough if you watch it to make it worth doing. Um, it's just it's just not a sensible time investment. It's like it's like four hours plus for a twenty minute video that gets half of you know any other content that we produce. It's not sufficient. 
So we need to look at what we're going to do with that. We don't want to abandon it completely, but at the same time, <laughs> we kind of don't want to keep making content that you guys aren't watching that requires so much, like so much, so much effort for such a little return. And I'm not going to lie, it, it's not. It's not a great feeling to spend that much time on something you enjoy and then have it not watched by very many people. You know, that that kind of has its own separate effect um, of making it kind of, I guess, a bit crushing to do. It's like, you know, you spent effort on something, you've done something you enjoy, and then it, it doesn't really get the reception you want. So it's not just time investment, but it's also kind of how, I guess, how it affects you in a, in a motivational way as well. Um, so yeah, we need to look at that. But, whoops, but, but, that's like, that's the only negative. That's the only negative thing in this vlog. It's all positive. The Shack of Streams is completed. It's working brilliantly. Stein can now stream to his heart's content. I'm hoping to join into a few streams as well. Um, now that I've got this Elgato HD60, I can do all the recording effectively with no impact on my system. I can also stream with it, which is fantastic. And I can also record off the PS4. I may look into grabbing the Xbox One as well. So that, you know, regardless of what console it's on, uh, I'd be able to cover it. I'm looking into that. I'm not making any promises. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, Hotfix will be back. I, I know it's been missing the past couple of weeks, but as I say, that's been down to a combination of, um, you know, constructing the, the, uh, the, the shack of streams and dreams, trying to get this computer sorted out so that I can record the bulk of the content. And uh, now that all of that's done, Hotfix can return as normal. We're, we're hoping to get back into live streaming it. We're hoping to get back into having guests on it. All in all, guys, it's it's looking fucking peachy for Unit Loss right now. We've got everything set up to just really ramp up production on content for YouTube, ramp up streaming. It's all good. It's all brilliant. And you just need to keep keep watching. Keep watching if you like it. Because, you know, that's why we're doing it. We're doing it because you like it. Well, admittedly, we like it as well. But that's the main reason. That's the main reason. So, ooh, the vault lever. So there you go, guys. This has been a bit of a vlog. Um, hopefully, it's given you a bit of an insight as to what's going on. And hopefully, you understand why it is that content's been uh, been a bit kind of... Not hit and miss in terms of quality, but hit and miss in terms of, well, just turning up to begin with. Um, that's why. Construction, stress testing, but it's all fixed. Everything is now done. And I'm now going to kill this guy claim the treasure and uh, get my keystone because I'm worth it so there you go guys hope you enjoyed that hope you know what's going on make sure to uh, subscribe to us on Twitter so subscribe to I say subscribe follow us on Twitter at Unit Lost Gaming for Sty's nonsense and for notifications about tweets uh, tweets streams and so on oh my god I'm losing the ability to talk I better get out of here Follow at Unit Lost Gaming on Twitter. That is how you know when the streams are going live. Follow the Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Unit Lost. And if you follow it, you'll get emails saying when it's live. And uh, keep your eyes peeled on the YouTube channel for a ramping up of wonderful content. And I will see you fine people next time. Doodaloo!